everybody. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to do a really quick walkthrough of what a destructuring assignment is. And so we're using that with this uh, weird little syntax for capacitor here to get the camera plugin set up. So this is kind of the first uh, experience I had, I think, with the uh, with destructuring assignment, or at least knowingly. When you're using a plugin from Capacitor, which we often use with Ionic applications, you use this sort of syntax here where you have these curly braces and we say const camera, or you could use let or var, it's just a, a variable assignment here. We have const camera equals plugins. Now I think intuitively that doesn't really make a whole uh, lot of sense until you actually understand what's going on here. And what we would assume we're trying to do here is we're trying to get a reference to the camera plugin, but it looks like we're just assigning all of the plugins from a uh, capacitor to this camera variable. Uh, you might be more sort of used to doing something like you know, maybe import camera from capacitor core or something like that. And so if we just jump into the browser, I've got this application running and you can see that uh, we do have the reference to uh, just the camera plugin here. And so what is happening here is that uh, what this destructuring assignment does basically is rather than saying, you know, assign the plugins to camera, what we are saying is that we want to grab camera from inside of this plugins object and assign it to that. And so basically this is the equivalent of saying, uh, if we log out console.log uh, plugins.camera, this should be the exact same thing. So if we jump back into the browser again, we can see we have two references to the same thing here. So instead of doing const camera equals plugins, we could do const uh, camera equals plugins dot camera and not use that uh, destructuring assignment. And so as you can see, this is a little bit less code than this, but you know it's not too hard to just type this out. Uh, but the benefit of this comes more from when if we want to use multiple plugins, for example. So if we wanted to import or set up references to the splash screen and I'm trying to give another plugin, um, uh, we'll, we'll do status bar. So we can uh, set up references to all of those uh, just with this one assignment statement here, as opposed to having to do this multiple times and say const splash, uh, splash screen equals plugins dot splash screen, const status bar equals plugins dot status bar and so on. So if we're importing uh, multiple plugins, this is going to make things a lot easier. So just to sort of drive home the point of what is uh, happening here, let's, uh, we'll get rid of this completely for now with this capacitor stuff. And what we're going to do is just set up our own simple object and use the same structure uh, destructuring assignment to set up some variables from that. So I'm just gonna set up a object here. We'll say private, I'll just call it my data. And we'll just set up a couple of properties on here. Uh, let's say maybe we have something called content and this can be a string. Uh, we'll just say hello and I don't know, give it a rating of four. So let's say we're working with that uh, data now and I'll just do this in the constructor. What we could do with that destructuring assignment is uh, for example, I could say let and we'll get those curly braces again. And I could say let content rating equal my data. And now if I log both of those out, so that should be this dot my data. If I log both of those out now, we'll log out content and we'll log out rating. What we should get is that we'll get these, uh, get the content value of hello and the rating value of form that should be automatically assigned to these two variables. So we should be able to save that jump into the browser and you can see we have hello and four. So this is a kind of easy way to grab whatever data you want out of this object. Maybe this object has 10 different things in it and we just want to grab a couple. We could just grab just the content if we wanted to. And again, this is sort of easier than saying, uh, for example, let content equal this dot my data dot content, let rating equal this dot my data dot rating and so on. So it's a bit, uh, I guess a bit of shorthand syntax to save a bit of time. And you can also uh, rename the variables if you want. So right now with this syntax, uh, we have to give the variable the same name as the property in the object that we're trying to grab. So if we call our variable content here, it's gonna grab the content 
uh, property from our object. Uh, but maybe we want to rename that, for example. So let's say if I wanted to name this um, message, we could say uh, assign message to content. I'm sorry, that should be the other way around. Actually, that should be content message and rating uh, score, for example. And so now if we log out message and score, those same uh, values will get assigned to that still. So we should still have hello and four in here, but we've renamed those uh, to message and score now. So it's the exact same concept. We're just saying, well, rather than uh, calling this content, we want to call it message and that's all. Okay, so I hope this video can help clear up uh, what this uh, syntax is uh, exactly. I think a lot of uh, Ionic developers especially will probably be exposed to this through capacitor, uh, but it is useful syntax to know in general. And I think it's just good to understand what's going on. So it's not this just kind of magic syntax that uh, you know, just does what it you know does without you really understanding it. So I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.